There is no doubt that the DJI Mini 3 Pro is an absolutely excellent drone. And DJI are continuously bringing updates to make it even better. Whew, I'm gonna have to stop running. And DJI have just launched a new version of their flyer, 1.7.4, and a new firmware update for the RC controller, offering to fix some bugs. So I'm basically on my way to go film something. I'm incredibly late. I'm hoping I haven't actually missed it. And when I get there, what I'm gonna do is of course stop running, catch my breath, show you exactly what it is, what I'm hoping to film. And what I'll do is on the flight, I'll review the new RC firmware, show you exactly what I found. And we'll just take a good look through all the menus. Let's have a little fly with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And I'll fly with it and show you as much as what I do on the channel. So let's get into it. And sadly, that is where that plan absolutely fell flat because that ship in the distance is the HMS Mersey and that is the patrol vessel for the Royal Navy I was planning to film uh, while talking about this actual update. Not to worry though because I did manage to get this ship um, when it came into port a couple of days ago. I said a few of you have actually seen it and some have given it a big thumbs up and rated it 10 out of 10 so I will definitely take that and now will be a really good time to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you are notified when that video is launched i would really be grateful for your feedback so what i've decided to do is rather than just doing a usual piece i thought i'd just fly around with the dji mini 3 because i don't really show me flying with it all that often despite the fact that i do test all these features so i've come to a slightly different location as you can see uh, just to have a bit of a fly around test the signal uh, test all the settings make sure it's all working and just generally observe to see if there's anything new and what possibly they may have fixed including this flight recorder issue but i will get to that later on in the video so first of all just flying around you can see that we did get a bit of a signal issue not really too bothered about that and um, you can see that as i'm walking along the quayside um the there is a bit of a, a a rather large ship in between my controller and my drone even though i can see it in the air because of course it's higher than the ship um, unfortunately the signal is sort of blocked a little bit um, so that's not too much of an issue turning round up back towards where we are then you can see a couple of ships uh, basically these are the tugs that have just taken out the HMS Mersey so of course when I do these flights I do like to test pretty much everything um, so let's just start with me walking onto the lock gate um, and let's just try a bit of a Bit of a quick shot, shall we, just to see how that goes. Uh, a good old favourite of mine is, of course, the Droney. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, select that one. As you can see, it's picked me up as a subject, but I'm also drawing the box just to make it a little bit easier and quicker. Uh, let's execute that, and you can see the drone is flying away just exactly as it should and following that path. And one thing to mention is I must admit, this drone is absolutely fantastic in the wind. We are looking around 15 to 20 miles an hour winds today, and the DJI Mini 3 Pro handles it absolutely no problem so i always love to be a little bit more daring so let's just take a little flight really really low we're going below our takeoff point as you can see by the negative altitude let's get really really close to the water um i am in cine mode um so i'm flying quite slowly but i thought this would make a really cool shot so we are flying really really close to the water and as you can see the drone is handling it absolutely fine even though the wind is absolutely bashing off the top of the water um and unsettling the drone i can physically see it moving around but you just wouldn't tell by looking at the footage absolutely smooth as silk so let's just take a bit of a flight out then as you can see uh, we are coming up to the ferry and i think it's going to be ideal to do a little return to home test just to make sure that he's doing exactly what it needs to do and for this one i am going to have to update my home point uh, to do that all i need to do is go into the setting menu uh, scroll through click on the update home point change it from drone to the controller and as you can see that has now set a new home point and the reason why i've done that is because i've walked about 700 meters while i've been on this flight well away from the original takeoff point and we don't want the dji mini 3 pro returning to where i took off from i want it to come back to us so as the mini 3 pro is coming in then this just shows that gps is at 100 accurate uh, as you can see if i continue to let this drone land 
it would have a possible fight with these railings, um, which is why I always suggest use return to home as a safety measure only if you ever do lose your orientation. And as soon as the drone is above you, cancel the return to home and always land it manually. So I wanted to try a little bit of the active tracking just to make sure this all works. Okay, and as we are using a trace, you can see that is a shot of myself walking along the quayside with the p and ferry uh, in the foreground. Now, just a little disclaimer before I do move on to the next clip, just so you don't all start bombarding me in the comment section to say it said that anyway. I'm not particularly saying this warning is new. Um, I've just never noticed it before, but there has been a lot of people crashing their drones when using active track. Remember, the DJI Mini 3 does not have a side avoidance sensors, which is interesting because when we pop the active track into parallel mode, it tells us that the obstacle avoidance is not active in this mode. Now, like I say, guys, a little disclaimer, I'm not sure whether that's new or not. I've personally never seen that message before, but then I don't really use active track modes on my drone. So if you have seen that before, brilliant. Please be aware of your surroundings because you could quite easily crash your drone even if you think the obstacle avoidance is turned on. So let's talk about if there is anything new then. Um, when I've been flicking through the menus, I can tell you there is absolutely nothing new when it comes to features, functionalities or anything uh, of the sort. Now, when it does come to the actual issue of the flight recorder, what used to happen with the RC controller is the fact that when we actually turned on the RC controller and then flipped into the flight logs, for some reason, not just myself, but many of you have commented that for some reason they just don't show, or you constantly just get this loading screen, then you have to swipe out of it. Um, and then for some reason, the flight logs, which was there, um, for some reason have then disappeared. Uh, and this is basically the issue that DJI are fixing with this. So after the firmware update, you can see the difference is absolutely huge. The first one was before where they just wasn't loading. And this is after the update where you can see it is showing our flight logs absolutely perfectly without hesitation. One slight issue I did have is it kept telling me that there was an actual flight log that wasn't uploaded. If I click upload, it told me it was, but then the number actually never changed. And then when I came out and back in again, again, it kept coming up with the same message so that was quite bizarre but no real biggie I'm sure it will rectify itself in due course after I've done a couple of cycles of the controller. I do not know if this is a mistake but DJI seem to have left a lot of the language especially when it comes to the flight data recorder as you can see um, in clearly Chinese. Well I'm assuming it's Chinese could be another language it just looks particularly Chinese to me um, and I'm sure there will be yet another update and they will fix this issue. But overall this seems completely stable we have tested a return to home. We've tested photo modes, video modes. The flight time, I must admit, on this uh, long life battery is absolutely incredible. I've been flying for around 25 minutes in total. Um, obviously, I've chopped it up for the purpose of this video, um, and I've used about 40 45% battery. This battery just goes on forever and it's great because I can just grab the extended battery and just come out whenever I want, even with just one of them and know that I can pretty much film everything I want. And if you want to see my review on that battery, again, I will leave a link to that at the end of this video. But overall, this update seems absolutely perfectly fine for the DJI Mini 3 Pro and the RC controller. Go ahead and install. Uh, I found no particular problems. Everything seems to work as it should. So that wraps up this video. Please do check out these two videos that I have handpicked for you uh, to watch after this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're awesome, and see you on the next one.